and now we have got the Leaf Village Thornton. Like, I'm telling you, and I keep saying it every fucking week that I keep talking about Shippuden episode, that the anime just outdoes itself all the time. It's just like, how do they make this material from the manga, which I was bored with reading every week and thought it was dragged on, and now that they're going at a great pace with it, and it looks beautiful. It's just like, it, it bewilders me every time, people. I swear to God, it always fucking does that to me. But this episode, like, finding more about Hashirama and a bit of, you know, Madara right there, and we see this while that, you know, they're trying to have to plan to kill each other, and, but actually, both Madara and also as well, like, Hashirama, when they threw each other's rock, they actually put in little signals in there to say, run and scrap, so it's like, Madara's family was also had it in plan as well, and then we have a little battle at the river side. We have Madara, and we have you know Izuna, and we have Madara's father there, and then we have the, you know Hashirama, Tobirama, and uh, and also as well Hashirama's father going off against each other. It's like it was just so crazy because these two didn't want them to fight, and it's like literally the fathers are that much scumbags that they were trying to kill the other one's kid. Like, they're trying to kill Azuna and trying to kill Tobirama, and that's when Madara and Hashirama said, "Can't do this. This is my last," you know brother here and they said you know his brother he cares literally for the world about him so he can't have that happening to him and it's like not to mention when it comes out it's like i gotta say but like toby rama is a huge fucking dick if it wasn't for him then we might have been able to actually get somewhere with madara earlier it was because of him and because of like freaking i guess Ethan is like sort of like you know he willingness to refuse to say like we can actually work with these guys that it actually cost him his own death as he like Literally did like the war style on Izuna and then did the flying rage and slash. So I guess as well this show what they were capable of when they were kids are already pretty strong. But it's like when we see Madara and just Hashirama, these two are on a completely different level. It's like these guys are so fucking powerful that they're just compared to everyone else, they're nothing. I mean, after a few years they become each other's respectable clan leaders and after that we see that you know Hashirama just didn't want to fight him anymore and he saw Izuna like hurt and all that it's like get out of here you know can we not settle this and all that can we not make peace and because of that when we saw back it's like Izuna died that day and that is what triggered Madara to awake like cause we already saw that he awoken his Sharingan but this is the time that he saw he awoken his Mangekyo internal Sharingan and it's like Jesus Christ. Not only is the first time him ever using the Susano, but the Susano was just going fucking ballistic. We had the bone wall, we had skin thought. He already got it into the f like, full Susano. And then he decided to go a f another step up that he decided to go to, you know, perfect Susano. It's like, Madara is on a fucking crazy level. He just kept evolving through the battle. And even as well, you see Hashirama, he was using the golems, he was using the dragons, he was fucking trying to beam and it's sort of from the looks of it from our first story it's like oh it looked like it ended in a draw but uh, it showed up that you know the, ha the Hashirama won and Toby Bro is now part of put to play to and you saw as well like Hashirama like no one's touching Madara like that it's like whoa whoa calm down he's all yours bro it's like he looked like he wanted to kill Toby Bro when he just did that because in the end of the day it's still his his fault it's like he was the original Danzo that is why we have fucking pricks like Danzo later to come in the series because of fucking Toby Rao's way. He treats fucking Uchiha like shit. And it's like, yeah, he has that mentality because of what happened in the war, but it's like, you should like, at least try to understand your brother's way and why he's trying to do it, not just try to be a dick about it. I guess he just never changed until the end, and it's like, he just wanted to focus more on his people and, you know, on his part of the clan and just all that great shit. And it's like, finally, the two, they managed to get a cl alliance, like, saying, like, I can't trust you. Either you kill your little brother or you kill yourself. And Hashirama said, like, he knew, I, he, I'm glad he, made, he gave me those two choices like that, because he's saying, like, he knew I could never kill my little brother, so I'd kill her. And then he's like, there, he's like, okay, once I die, you know, you nobody kills an Uchiha, and nobody kills Madara. You swear this on your sons and your grandsons' futures like that. It's like, and he just goes there to stab himself, and just Madara just goes, enough. You don't, I've already seen your guts like that, and it's like, that was just a powerful episode, like, and you see right at the end, we see both Madara and also as well Hashirama now forming the Leaf Village, and it seems like next week as well, we're dealing with that as well, and it's curious as well, like, like, it's still for another anime, um, question, though, why wasn't there the two Hokages? That's one thing, like, why what, were they not two, but respectively, was it, like, for the future, like, was it, like, Hashirama 
was the Hokage, he was from the light, and then Madara, he was dealing with, like, the Danzo shit, you know, the root, the Anbu from the shadows, like, very curious to see, like, what, that's the anime-only viewers, I'm curious to see, see what you think about that, but, that's all for me, I want to thank them much for watching, as always, remember, I'll see you guys next time, and, Starlight